This is Bottles. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. And we are about to fucking do this fucking sting operation with Tony. Which who knows how well that's gonna go. But I'm That excited. seemed pretty reckless to, to just... <laughs> to just throw Tony into the gunfire, essentially. I would have thrown, like... I probably would have trusted Sydney more than I would trust... Tony. Hey, you remember that thing I said about us not coming up here at the same time? I got the fire door open, but we've got a new problem. The alarm's going <laughs> There aren't any lights in there. It's pitch black. Of course. Meg said that the power was going to be switched off. Wait, we were selling flashlights, weren't we? The next problem is, even if we find a light, we don't have any keys. Yeah, I already thought about that. The only people who have access to the keys are Mags and Dylan. So if we ask Dylan, maybe he'll help us, right? No, oh, God. Tony, you are so out of the loop. What, you want to ask Dylan to try and get the keys from Mags? Nah, that'd take forever. But hang on, Dylan has his own set. He, he uses them to get around here and look around. I think he got himself a set just for the fourth floor. Are you sure about that? Yeah, you, I'm we positive. Should, we should already know this. I know because he's opened the place up for me before. Then it's settled. I'll get those keys. Tony, you need to find something we can use to light the way in there. Leave it to me. And good luck getting those keys. Right. Okay, it goes nothing. Jumps down from like the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just, no, I just, I just think of it as him just, like, just, you know, vaulting over the, uh, the like railing. The and rail? just Yeah, and he's just, like, he parkours down. <laughs> just like, I didn't know that he could parkour. Huh. That's something I didn't Never know came about up. Tony. <laughs> Tony rushes off and heads downstairs. Right. Now to find those fourth floor keys. I hope it's not stuck in a fucking music box. All right. Let me in. Door's locked. But he locked it? He came back to lock it? Not gonna get me anywhere. Oh wait, no, I'm a fucking retarded. Oh, you did it again. <laughs> I did it again. God damn it. There we go. Alright, where are those fucking nice keys Nice to see at? you here again. Ah! <laughs> It's a pleasure, Mr. Hyde. Oh, look, cyanide. Not cyanide, um... I'm happy. The things, the things, the things... Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Tools for making a display case. Tweezers. I guess Dylan made all this decoration on his own. What a fucking weirdo. There's some raw crystals on the desk. I've seen this type of crystal before. I don't remember what it's called, though. Emmerdew? Pearl. Amethyst. Garnet? Steven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a flawless Steven. <laughs> it's a flawless Steven quartz universe. Where are these? Oh, wait. A toolbox with a handle. Looks pretty new. Oh. I guess that's, uh, you know. Fuck me then, I guess. Maybe it's in his pants. Maybe it's in here. Or do you really want to look at his pants? I hope you like my stench, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Bending down all day, reaching for pipes. <laughs> really? In, in denim jeans. Uh, really seals in the flavor. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chest of drawers next to the bed. The bottom drawer's open. How convenient. <laughs> There's a bunch of keys inside the drawer. This looks like what Tony was telling me about. I take the fourth floor keys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. Hey, Tony, I got the keys. You got the light? I got the keys for you. What took you so long? So how'd it go? Without a hitch, that's how. And you? Did you get the keys? Yeah. Knew you would, man. Here you go. 
I take the flashlight from Tony. Now I think it's about time we search the fourth floor. Ready one. Ready when you are. Okay. Oh God, fuck. All right, let's get the fuck in here. It's already open. <laughs> well, it's dark. Oh, Whoa, oh God. This is creepy. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go to the furthest one. Yo, if there was a fucking jump scare. Oh, it's the last window. This is actually kind of cool that they did that. Well, look, it's lit up behind him. Door appears to be locked. Well, I have keys. Did you just knock? Okay, I was about to say. Take out the fourth floor keys and unlock room 401. Okay. We're going to be here for a while then if we get uh, to check every room. Yeah. Especially if I can't fucking see. The dresser looks ancient. I guess that figure's in this place. The mirror is clouded over the years of dust and dirt. The stool for the dresser is looking kind of faded. It looks like it's been repaired a few times. Cape West promo there. God, it's so fucking frustrating to maneuver. You can't use the keyboard to move? I, mean, I probably could, but still, I don't know what direction I'm going. Okay, apparently that poster's not important. It's a two-seater sofa. It's a wooden coffee table covered up with a big white cloth. Uh, I'm assuming he's just with you. Yeah. We checked over here? No. I'm trying to get over there. <sighs> Round wooden table, like all of the crap in here, it's covered in dust. An old chair with a plush seat, it must have been sitting here for 13 years. A rectangular table has been left in the corner at a strange angle. The legs are scratched and splintered. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not this room then. Sure. 406. Yeah, this is going to take fucking forever. Ugh. A safe. Well, what hey, hide. Mean? What? Get a lot of this safe. The safe, huh? Got any idea what's inside? Only one way to find out. I guess we need to take a look. Oh, we didn't have to search too far. That's good. Now if I could just turn the right way. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna open a window. It's starting to get warm in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, we back. With the windows open, we are now ready to check the safe. There's a safe with a dial up against the wall. Looks like it's been here for quite a while. Here's the dial. Not a chance. This thing's rusted beyond repair. Not gonna move an inch. Won't budge. Nothing else to look at, huh? So I can't turn the dial and I can open it. We need oil. We need a bomb. It's no good. This thing's not going to open. I think we're going to need some sort of tool. Maybe a crowbar will do the trick. You stay here. I'll go and grab one. 
Make it quick. Do you need a light? Nah, man, I got another flashlight. Be back soon. Just give me a shot. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I really gonna find the Scarlet Star up here on the fourth floor? Oh, cool. Thought recollection. Probably time I had to think about things so far. Oh, are we about to start chapter 10? December 26th. While my head was full of the things Will McGrath told me last night, I was visited by somebody in the morning. It was... D Dylan? It was Dylan. Right. Dylan was the one who paid me a visit first thing in the morning. He was itching to find out what Will and I had spoken about. After calling Rachel, I caught the news about a jewelry robbery on TV. They interviewed the store owner, who described a woman that appeared on the scene. The description reminded me of Marie, so I went and had it out with her. She fled to the room and eventually confessed to me about... Her brother and her husband working for Condor... Yeah. Right. She told me about her brother and husband once working for Condor. She went on to say that Niall had forced her to play the part of the mysterious woman. I also had the opportunity to talk to Rex, who came to the roof as well. He let me in on the fact that he plans to expose Niall to the world. After hearing what Maria and Rex had to say, I learned that it was none other than Dylan who had been threatening her. We had a chat and he admitted to working for Niall. His job in the apartment was... To perform maintenance. To perform maintenance. Right. Dylan was placed in this building to keep an eye on Max. While he did so, he was trying to uncover clues about the Scarlet Star. When I exposed him for what he was, he quickly fled the building. Frank noticed that Dylan had vacated the building and asked me to fill him in. He told me about Niall and the connection it had with the LAPD. He also let slip that his goal was to expose Hugh Speck and regain his reputation. Lastly, he told me that the one who knew the location of the Scarlet Star was... Michael McGrath. Yes. Wait, well, enjoyed Patrice. No. But it was also Michael McGrath. <laughs> right. Technically a whole bunch of people know. He told me that Michael knew the whereabouts of the Scarlet Star. He also said that he was sure that Michael had left behind some sort of clue. Thanks to Frank, I now know more about the Scarlet Star. I also learned that Niall was the organization behind Condor, and that Mags was connected to it all. After talking to Dylan and Frank, I headed to Mags' room. I was keen on finding the so-called clue that Michael had left behind. And with Frank's help luring Mags away, I was able to search her room. Unfortunately, my search proved fruitless, and I never found what I was looking for. Instead, I found... Friendship. The true friendship. treasure. True friendship. Right. I found a key which had a condor mark on it. Instead of handing the key I found to Frank, I kept it. Tony and I then made our way to the fourth floor to take a look around. Not sure why I brought Tony, but he gave me some... Hope. But hey, he was there. There's little doubt left in my mind that there are clues to be found here. But will it reveal the clues that Michael left behind? And where is the Scarlet Star hidden? Will I find something to shed light on the truth behind the incident with my dad? With any luck, everything will become clear once I find what I'm looking for. But as I think about it, I notice an uneasy feeling creeping into my mind. I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. You can now read the events of this chapter in the Last Window novel by Martin Summer. That's not Tony. That's not Tony. I am not convinced that that's Tony. That's too easy. It's even creeping up on us. Oh, God. I was like, wait, who is that? I'm like, oh, that's me. Huh? Oh, please tell me. Is this going to be gonna the be same way as... It's going to be a knockout. Is he going to knock me out? Tony? <laughs> what was that? Someone put perfume on us. We smelled stinky. Oh, I have to write this down first. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, remember to write this in my journal. Oh. Save my progress, please. Oh my god.
Chapter 10. The final chapter of the game. On still the same day. Is it the scar that's... I thought it was going to be red. And a star. <laughs> I hear my pager beeping somewhere. It keeps beeping as I slowly regain my focus. By the time I'm fully conscious, the beeping stop, but not the pounding in my head. I find myself lying on the floor for some reason. My body feels like a lead weight. My limbs are like rubber. No strength. My head's throbbing and my throat's hurting, too. As my eyelids slowly open, I'm treated to a scene of utter darkness, punctuated by a single point of light. I don't know what the light is, but no sooner do I focus on it than... I feel a searing pain in my eyes, and I force them shut once more. Tears seep out from beneath my closed eyelids. Pepper spray, that's what it was. What was that? Some kind of sleep spray? Sorry about this. Alright. Can't come up with a better answer, so I try and think back to the moment it happened. Whatever that stuff was, it certainly did what the sprayer wanted. Who the hell did it, though? I tried to stand, but then realize I'm unable. My hands and feet have been bound. Oh, what if, what if, oh, I was about to say, what if Tony was part of Nile too? <gasps> no, I'd be heartbroken. <laughs> Damn, they got me good. I've been tied up with rope. As I try to endure the pain from my eyes and my head, I attempt to lift my eyelids. I managed to focus on a dimly lit room. I regain my sight and manage to get myself into a sitting position. I look around. The light I saw before is the flashlight. Must have dropped it when I blacked out. Great. Now what? Not sure I'll be going anywhere like this. Are we moving? No. What? Oh. We're like crawling. This is even tougher than I thought it'd be. Still, if I take it slowly, I can get a little mobility. There's a vase on top of an unsteady looking table. And I think I managed to shake the vase a little. I slam into the table using my body. Almost. Just a little more. Hit. Got it. Okay. Oh, doy. Yeah, and you use that and to you... cut the rope. Yeah. The shards of broken vase are littering the floor. Right, now to put one of these shards to good use. I stretch one of my fingers out from beneath the rope and snag myself a shard. Come on. I sever the ropes binding me with the shard. Somehow. With that shitty piece of shard. Whew. The ropes were cutting off my circulation. Good to have the use of my hands back. I use my newly freed hands to untie my legs. Good. Hobbling around on my ass for the rest of the night would have be my idea of fun. Now I just need to find the Joker who thinks they can get away with this. I'm worried about Tony, too. First things first, though, I need to get out of this room. Now, how do I get there? There we go. One's a uh, bathroom. You're correct. Come on. There we go. Let me out. Looks like there's something on the other side jamming the door shut. I expected that. The fuck is... It looks like rope if it's... Crap! I'm trapped in here! The hell am I gonna do now? Let's knock. Why am I even knocking? That spray must be messing with my head. Looks like there's something on the other side jamming the door shut. Guess there's nothing for it but to bust the door open. Okay. So then do it. Do you bust it with something? Do 
Do we have the shards? No. Maybe the screwdriver to the uh, to the hinges. Can't look at the hinges from there. Uh, I want to break it down. Just kick it, hide. I guess. I guess we're using something too. Maybe we get a tear. It'd be great if I could maneuver around this room. Two small white tables are stacked against the wall. The tables. Like a lot of the unused furniture sofa has been covered with a sheet. Most looks like some sort of ghost sofa. Over there in the corner is a chain chair covered in a sheet. Okay. Uh, What? No. Come on. Hmm. Maybe I can use this chair. I'm sure I can put it to good use busting that door open. There we go. I take the chair. Right, that door would better say its prayers. See if we could find our fucking way over there. There you go. I did it. I'm learning. All right, time to use the chair on the door. I am now going to apply the chair onto the door. Time to try this chair out on that door. And it's a puzzle. <sighs> oh, okay. Not the outcome I was expecting, but okay. Looks like it did the trick. Can you come climb through the, the... Can you... Hide. Hide. No, don't hide. Run. I kind of like it in here. It's cozy. Time to get out of here. I stretch my hands through the hole and unbind the rope holding the okay, door shut. Okay, I was shut. about to say, he's just gonna seriously climb out of there. Huh? Down by my feet is the debris from the broken door. What's that? Something lying on the floor beside the number plate for room 406. It's a piece of the door with the word manager written on it. So room 406 belonged to the manager, huh? This is getting interesting. Oh, I see him. Huh? That's... Is that Tony? <gasps> Tony! Hey, Tony! Tony! Oh, you better be alive. What? Hey, are you okay? Oh. Hi, is that you? Hang in there. Don't rub your eyes. Right. My throat and my eyes feel like they're on fire. My head, ugh. Who did this to you? Wish I could tell you, man. I was going past the elevator and all of a sudden something sprayed into my face. Knocked me out cold. I didn't even feel it when I hit the floor. You were hit with sleep spray. Just blink a lot. Sleep spray? I don't believe this. Son of a... I'm in agony here. 
I think it's law enforcement great stuff. You're lucky you've been out for most of it. Just grin and bear it. You're not dying, you know. A lot more compassion would go a long way, man. Yeah, well, it wasn't just you that got taken down. They got me, too. Same routine with the sleep spray and everything. What? They got you, too? What the hell is this? Just after you left, they sprayed me, knocking me unconscious. I was tied up and locked in room 406. No way. I only got my, just got myself free and smashed my way out. You don't seem phased. Yes, this kind of thing happened all the time back on the force. Can it, Tony? I wasn't on the SWAT team or anything. How are you feeling now? Can't complain. It's a lot better than just now. That's for sure. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm over the worst of it now. Good to hear. But who the hell would want to do this to us anyway? My guess is somebody who doesn't didn't want us closing in on the Scarlet Star. Doesn't exactly tell us much. Yeah, true. Looks like I'm going to be needing your help with one more thing then, Tony. Sure, no sweat. We've got to get our heads straight and get back in the game here. I want to know who it is as much as you do. Let's go get him. That's the spirit. Right. I've just remembered. My mother is at the hospital. I, I have to help her. <laughs> Does anything happen to the safe? Same as when you left. We need to get back there for another look. No time like the present. Let's book it. And if anyone tries anything again, let's see him try and sleep spray my crowbar. Where is that thing anyway? It's over there on the floor. Is that your little friend, huh? Did you hit someone with this? I picked the crowbar up off the floor. <laughs> no, I think it's just right like that. Nah, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> right, let's get this thing done. Right. Funny choice to make the red part of it, you know, you know, red as it is. Yeah. Just to fuck with you. If we could find out where the fuck we are. What? 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 Oh. Okay. There we go. What the hell, man? You really did a number on that door! Look at his fucking face. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> There's nothing special. <laughs> oh man! What? What's so strange? Nothing, I think it's just very you, that's all. What's very me? What I did to the door was nothing compared to you when you're drunk. Some things never change, huh? That's harsh, man. Right, let's do this. Yeah! Alright, let's fucking open this fucking safe, dude. Watch the person still be in here. Psst, come on, damn it! God damn it. Well, here we are. This shit again. Time to get that safe open, Hyde. Right. Why did they do this? Tony fucking scared me. Yeah. Right, let's get busy with this crowbar. How about... Okay, let's do this! Push the bar on three, okay? One, two, three! Come on, man! Don't just give it a dainty push, go the whole way! Okay, one more time. One, two, three! Fuck! We Damn. fucking destroyed that shit! Got it. Nice one, Hyde. Come on, let's see what's inside. <laughs> End of communication. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you even remember that name. <laughs> There's an old safe next to the wall. The door is broken off. So do we find anything? Hold your horses, I'm still checking. Suspense is killing me, man. There's a small square case inside. A case? We're gonna take a look inside it. This is what we're looking for. Let's get that thing open and take a look at all that. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, he says. What the hell have we wasted all our time for then? <laughs> Damn thing's empty. That can't be right. Well, I'm not making this up, you know. So where the hell is the Scarlet Star? Beats me. 
Talk about disappointing! Oh man, after all that! Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, wait a minute. Take a look at the door. What about it? Look at how thick it is! Pretty good security for a safe with nothing in it. Yeah, that's almost unusually thick. Thought we'd be rolling in it by now. Hang on. Maybe the treasure was in us the entire time. The, it was the friendship, friendship we had along the way. The door we prized off of the safe is lying on the floor. Ah. Ah. You thought of a false back, but have you ever thought of a, a false, false front? front? The door is thick and th thick, and the inner portion is covered in rust. There's some sort of opening on the inside of the door. Could it be? What is it? Looks like this thing comes apart. You're right! I place the crowbar into the opening and prize it open. That'll do. <sighs> this looks like... What did you find? Tony. There's some kind of book hidden in the gap in the door. What? what? A book? A book? Nothing shiny and expensive looking then? Fortunately not, but at least we have something. And we've got you to thank for it. So... What does the book say? Looks like a diary from the manager of Hotel Cape West. The manager's diary? Yeah. It belonged to Michael McGrath, the manager of the hotel. The man who knew about the whereabouts of the Scarlet Star. Maybe we can still find it! I take Michael's diary. So come on, what's in it? This is what's written inside. Written on December 17th, 1967, after Kathy's funeral. Kathy, I still can't believe you're gone. Whenever I think of life without you, I'm overcome with an intolerable sense of guilt. Guilt because I know the truth, Kathy. I know why you were killed, and it's all because of what happened on that fateful night 12 years ago. But I had shot the safe cracker, who snuck into my office. By it and taken the Scarlet Star from his dead fingers. And maybe you'd still be alive. Everything is connected to the one night that happened 12 years ago. If only I hadn't shot the man who crept into the office to break into the safe. If I had not taken the Scarlet Star from his hands and kept it for myself. Perhaps then none of this would have happened. So Michael McGrath killed Kyle's dad. We kept the man's body in the chest freezer for two days. Oh, fuck. Then I had Mike and Peter take it to a downtown parking lot and dump it there. The blood-stained room was then converted into a guest room. And it was made off-limits from then on. Rarely a day goes by when I don't think about what happened that night. When I closed the hotel, my plan was to sever my ties with Condor as well. George said the only way to escape Condor is to completely disappear. Of course, you're well within your right to do so, but remember this. I can overlook certain things while we're friends, but not when we're strangers. But George knew. He knew about the provisions I made in order to start my new life. And he knew what had become of the Scarlet Star. I expected some sort of retribution. But Kathy, I never imagined it would result in your life being taken. Now that you've gone, the reasoning behind taking the Scarlet Star has gone too. And George, who took your life, even had the audacity to come to your funeral. Kathy, I now know exactly what I have to do. I have no intention of handing the Scarlet Star over to George, and absolutely no intention of forgiving him for what he has done either. You can rest easy, Kathy. You will be avenged, I promise. The safe cracker in this diary. There's no mistaking it. It was my dad. It all happened 25 years ago in this very room. My dad snuck in and stole the Scarlet Star, only to be killed by Michael McGrath. He was killed in this very room. Dad. Hey! Are you listening, Hyde? Tony? Snap out of it, man! Does it say where the Scarlet Star is or not? No. No, it doesn't. So we got nothing. What now, Hyde? Right now, we need to get out of this room. Yeah, that's a good idea. Tony and I leave room 406. 
Ow! What is it? My foot hurts. I must have fallen on it funny. Still hurts now. Head's killing me, too. What the hell was in that spray? Might as well go back to your room, Tony. But what about the diamond? You need to rest. I'll be sure to come and get you when I need you. Okay, man, if you're sure. Tony makes his way back through the hallway. It's my pager. I'd better get back to my room, too. And we're gonna do that next time. Oh, man, what a crazy fucking episode, dude. And we're nearing the end, too. Next session, we're probably finishing this shit. Guys, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And hit that bell notification if you want to see the next episode of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. And make sure to watch our other series like Hotel Dusk Room 215 and Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, question of the day. What is the craziest thing that has ever happened to you? Like, ever, in your life, so far. Put that shit in the comments below. I'm Without boss. incriminating yourself. I'm uh, putting more. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Continue.